Hi everyone, good evening all of you. This is Santi from InfoBuddy and today in this session we are going to discuss about the daily current affairs of 26 July 2020. Guys, current affairs are very crucial for almost all every competitive exam. So, watch the entire video, read all the questions in this video. After every question, just pause the video and write down your answer in the comment box. And finally, if you like the video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Coming to the first question of the day. The third unit of the Kakrapar Atomic Power Project KAPP3 is in which of the following states? Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh. This is the Kakrapar Atomic Power Project. Kakrapar Atomic Power Project 3 is the country's first 700 megawatt electric unit and the biggest indigenously developed variant of the pressurized heavy water reactor. Pressurized heavy water reactor PHWR. Until now the biggest reactor size of the indigenous design was the 540 megawatt electric unit. 540. Two of which have been deployed in Tarapur, Maharashtra. A pressurized heavy water reactor is a nuclear power Power reactor commonly used unenriched natural uranium as its fuel that uses heavy water. Heavy water means deuterium oxide D2O. This is heavy water as its coolant and moderator. This pressurized heavy water technology was started in India in late 1960s with the construction of the first 220 megawatt electric unit. First 220 megawatt electric unit reactor that is in RAPS1. That is R. RAPS1. What is RAPS? Rajasthan Atomic Power Station 1. The state-owned Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited NPCIL has awarded the reactor building contract for both KAP PP3 and 4 in 2010. So recently the third unit of this Kakrapar Atomic Power Project in Tapi district of Gujarat achieved its first criticality. That means criticality is the first step towards power production. A nuclear reactor is said to be critical when the nuclear fuel inside a reactor sustains a fission chain reaction. Each fission reaction releases a sufficient number of neutrons to sustain a series of reactions. Heat is produced in this event which is used to generate steam that spins a turbine to create electricity. What is meant by fission? A fission is a process in which the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei and some byproducts. When the nucleus splits, the kinetic energy of the fission fragments, that is primary nuclei, is transferred to other atoms in the fuel as heat energy, which is eventually used to produce steam to drive the turbines. So this is the process. So recently this Kakrapar Atomic Power Project 3 is in use because it achieves its first criticality. Next question. Which of the following ministries has initiated a tree plantation campaign? Vrukshoropan Abhiyan. Vrukshoropan Abhiyan. Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Ministry of Coal. Ministry of Agriculture. Ministry of Home Affairs. Amit Shah launches this tree plantation campaign 2020 of the coal ministry. Ministry of coal. This is a campaign of Uruksha Ropan Abhiyan is a campaign of ministry of coal. The union home minister Sri Amit Shah virtually launched the tree plantation campaign Uruksha Ropan Abhiyan of the ministry of coal on 23rd July which also marks the birth anniversary of Lokamanya Balagangadhar Tilak and Chandrasekhar Aj. So, birth anniversary of Balaganga Tilak and Chandrasekhar Raja 23rd July. Union Minister of Coal, Mines and Parliamentary Affairs Sri Prahala Joshi was also present on this occasion. The tree plantation campaign was conducted at more than 130 locations in 38 districts of 10 states. Almost 130 locations. 6 lakh seedlings was planted across 600 acres in 38 districts of 10 states. Additional 5 lakh seedlings were distributed to the local people on this occasion. The minister also inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of six eco parks or tourism sites. So this workshop open Abhiyan is a tree plantation campaign of Ministry of Coal. Who launched this? Union Home Minister Sri Amit Shah virtually launched this on 23rd July. 23rd July is the birth anniversary of Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Chandrasekhar Ajad. Restart India is a mentoring platform 
launch to help the MSME sector in restarting businesses in India. The platform has been developed by which of the following company? Tata Capital, Bajar Finsar, Cholamandalam Finance and Muttot Finco. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari launches this Restart India. This platform has been developed by Muthut Finco. Nitish Gadkari launches this. The Union Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, MSME. She Nitin Gadkari launched a mentoring platform that is www. Restartindia.in Restartindia.in on July 23rd with the main objectives to help the sector in restarting business across the country. The website has been developed jointly by Muthut Fincorp and Ink Talks as an open platform for advisory support. It is synchronized with Atmanirbhar Bharat. Muthut Fincorp and Ink Talks developed a website as an open platform. The portal will act as a single platform to bring together professionals, experts from various fields and industry domains to address the questions and provide information on various schemes and initiatives of this government. The objective of this Restart India is to raise the self-confidence primarily of small business by creating an environment for the re-establishment and progress of their businesses. So this Restart India is a mentoring platform launched to help the MSME sector in restarting business in India. This platform has been developed by Muthur Fincorp and it is launched by Ministry of MSME Nitin Gadkari. On 23rd July. Next question. Which of the following country conducts a flight trial of 3D printed aircraft engine? 3D printed of aircraft engine. China, Japan, Russia, USA. Russia has conducted a successful flight test of an MGTD-20 gas turbine 3D printed aircraft engine. The flight tests were held at Rajanbash Aviation Center in Tatarastan. Its production is scheduled for 2021 and 2022. With this new technology, the production time of the main engine elements has been reduced by 20 times and the cost of their production has been reduced by more than 2 times. Times. And the present president of Russia is Putin, Vladimir Putin. And the capital of Russia is Moscow. Next question. Kargil Vijay Divas is celebrated every year on 25th July, 26th July, 23rd July, 24th July. Kargil Vijay Divas is celebrated every year on 26th July since the year from 1999. 26th July from 1999 to mark India's victory over Pakistan in the Kargil conflict. A war between India and Pakistan in 1999 won by India at Kargil. So this Kargil Vijay Divas is celebrated every year on 26th July from 1999 to mark India's victory over Pakistan. The day is dedicated to our Kargil War heroes and is named after the successful Operation Vijay. It is celebrated in the view of Operation Vijay and Kargil War that ended on July 26, 1999. After this, India successfully took command of the high outpost which had been lost to Pakistan. This Operation Vijay was the code name given to India's offensive against Pakistan to flush out the Pakistanis infiltrators from the Indian territory in Kargil. So, so this Kargil Vijay Divas is celebrated every year on July 26. Who has been appointed as new MD and CEO of Indian Overseas Bank? Partha Pradeem Sen Gupta takes over and new MD and CEO of Indian Overseas Bank. IOB. This 57 year old Sen Gupta will serve the post up to the date of attaining the age of superannuation that is December 31st 2000. 22 or until further orders whichever is earlier. The post of this MD and CEO at IVB was lying vacant after the superannuation of Karnam Sekar who retired on June 30, 2020 as MD and CEO of IOB. He is the Deputy Managing Director of SBI and Ashok Lavasa he has been recently appointed as Vice President of ADB Bank and Ashwini Kumar Tiwari, MD and CEO of SBI Courts and Roshni Nadar, he is appointed as SCL Technologies. Next question. Who has been appointed as MD and CEO of Tata AIA Life Insurance? Navin Tahilyani, 
पोषण महापात्र भार्गवदास गुप्ता ऋषि श्रीवास्तव नवीन तहल्यानी हेज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द एम डी एंड सी ओ ऑफ टाटा ए ए लाइफ इंश्योरेंस He will take over from the current CEO Rishi Srivastava. Rishi Srivastava is the current CEO of Tata A Life Insurance. So option A is the correct answer. Poshan Mahapatra he is the CEO of SBI General Insurance. Next, Barko Das Gupta he is the CEO of ICICI Lombard. So MD and CEO of Tata A Life Insurance is Navin Tahilyani. Next question. The first ever Indian port which has recently signed the commitment letter to science based targets initiative SBTI is Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited Transport Corporation of India Limited Paradi Port Trust Kamaraja Port Limited The first ever Indian port which has been recently signed the commitment letter to the science based project targets initiative is Adani Port Special Economic Zone Limited APSEG Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited has become the first port in India and the seventh port in the world to sign the commitment letter to this SBTI this is first in India and the seventh in the world Our all 43 indian companies have signed a commitment letter to sbti till date total of 909 companies 43 indian companies signed for this science based targets initiative 43 indian companies and this is the first port that has been signed with science based targets initiative what is this science based targets initiative the science based targets are the targets adopted by companies to reduce greenhouse gas that is ghg greenhouse gas that are in line with meeting the goals of this paris agreement to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels and pursue efforts to limit warming to 1.5 degrees centigrade through this science based targets initiative companies commit to set science based emissions reduction targets across their entire value chain which in turn provides companies with a clearly defined pathway to future proof growth committed companies have 24 months to have their target 24 months that is 2 years targets approved and published by sbti is a collaboration between cdp and the united nations global compact world resources institute and worldwide fund for nature wwf so the first ever indian port is adani ports and special economic zone limited ap says next question which public sector bank has launched insta click savings account that is a 100% paperless digital self assisted online savings account that can be activated in real time Punjab National Bank Bank of Baroda State Bank of India Bank of India India's third largest public sector bank Bank of Baroda Bank of Baroda has launched this Insta Click Savings account a 100% paperless digital self assisted online saving account Insta Click Savings account uses a new form of digital KYC that means know your customer KYC and aadhar based otp one time password personal identification number authentication of the customer which can be operated from the bank's website through mobile phone ipad laptop and pc the account is activated in real time which means the customer can start transacting using the baroda m connect application with the m pin received on the mobile number immediately the product also offers customers two option to subscribe to a wide range of digital channels like mobile banking internet banking UPI and debit card so this bank of baroda headquarters in vadodara gujarat and ceo is sanjeev chada the tagline for this bank of baroda is india's international bank so insta click savings account a 100% paperless digital self assisted online savings account that can be activated in real time by bank of baroda next question nasa is to launch 
Astros mission from Antarctica in December 2023, November 2022, December 2021 and December 2022. NASA is to launch Astros mission. This Astros mission from Antarctica in December 2023. This mission is spent three weeks observing air currents above the continent. The Astros mission will send a football stadium sized balloon. This football stadium sized balloons into the stratosphere. The balloon will observe wavelengths of invisible light from the earth. The balloon has a telescope, subsystems, science instruments, electronic systems and cooling systems. This balloon is to be inflated with helium. The mission will find answers about unsolved puzzles of giant stars and their formation in the Milky Way galaxy. The mission for the first time will detect and map the presence of two specific types of nitrogen ions. These ions will help to reveal places where winds from supernova explosions, massive stars helped to reshape the gas clouds. Astrophysics Stratospheric Telescope for High Spectral Resolution Observations as Submillimeter Wavelength. The uh, Astros mission of NASA aims to create a 3D map of density, motion and the speed of gas. This mission is launched by NASA in December 2023. So once again look at all these questions of the third unit of Kakrapar Atomic Power Project KAPP3 is in which of the following states that is Gujarat, the Tapi district of Gujarat. Which of the following ministries has initiated a tree plantation campaign of Rikshar Abhiyan, Ministry of Coal and launched by Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Restart India is mentoring platform launched to help the MSME sector in restarting businesses in India. The platform has been developed by which among the following company? Muthur Pinkap and the Ministry of MSME Nitin Gadkari launches this. Which of the following country conducts a flight trail of 3D printed aircraft engine? Russia launches this 3D printed aircraft engine MGTD20. Option C. Next. Kargil Vijay Divas is celebrated every year on 26th July. Who has been appointed as new MD and CEO of Indian Overseas Bank? Parda Pradim Sen Gupta. And Ashok Lavasa is Vice President of ADB Bank. Ashok Kumar is MD and CEO of SBA Accords. And Roshni Nadar Malhotra is First Women Chairperson of SCL Technologies. Who has been appointed as MD and CEO of Tata AA Life Insurance? Naveen Tahilyani is MD and CEO of Tata AA Life Insurance. This Poshan Mahapatra is MD and CEO of SBA General Insurance. And Bhargav Das Gupta is MD and CEO of ICAC Lombard. And Rishi Srivastava is current MD and CEO of Tata AA Life Insurance. Insurance. The first ever Indian port which has recently signed the commitment letter to Science Based Targets Initiative SBTI is Adani Ports and the Special Economic Zone Limited that is APCS. Which public sector bank has launched InstaClick Savings Account that is a 100% paperless digital self-assisted online savings account that can be activated in real time. Bank of Baroda. NASA is to launch Astros mission from Antarctica in December 2023. A football sized balloon with helium gas. What is this Astros Astrophysics Stratospheric Telescope for High Spectral Resolutions Observation as Submillimeter Wavelengths. So that's it from this session. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share, and don't forget to subscribe.